Welcome back to our election coverage. The first time Doug Burgum ran for North Dakota governor, he defeated his opponent, Marvin Nelson of Rolla, substantially, 75% to 25%. This time around, the governor is winning again tonight. The victory margin is not that large, but still substantial. At this particular juncture of the vote counts, it's Doug Burgum leading 64% to a challenger of 36%. The governor addressing the challenges uh, earlier tonight the state is facing and dealing by saying that uh, by working together, we will emerge stronger than ever, ever. He also thanked North Dakota voters for their support. Let's go over to Callie Hubbard now. She talked with uh, the uh, lady who ran against the governor tonight, uh, Dr. Shelley Enns. Callie? Yeah, Mike, Dr. Lentz told me that going into the election, she knew she had a mountain to climb, but she was willing to do it barefoot if she had to. Dr. Lentz said her campaign put everything that they had on the table and they couldn't be more proud of everything that they accomplished. She added that the people have reached out to her saying that their lives have been changed just by her running. No, there's nothing I would do differently. I'm glad to have run the way I ran and thrown my hat in the ring and lead our party to our next stop. Again, win, lose, or draw. I mean, we're, we are a, a North Dakota values party. I also got a chance to catch up with Zach Rackenrude running for North Dakota Congress. He says he's proud of the efforts everyone has made to connect with people during a pandemic, hoping to see a gain across the party in addition to a shift in balance in North Dakota. For more on his latest interview, download our VNL News app. Mike. All right, taking a look now at the election tracker. And while the, the vote is all serious and the outcome is very important to not only the state and, and the uh, nation's future, this is a tool that can get you uh, uh, into uh, election coverage a little bit more. And I'm joined by Stacey Van Dyke now in the studio. And Stacey, you've been following this as well. And it's, it, it kind of add, add a little fun to tonight's election coverage. It sure is. And it looks a lot different, Mike, than it did when you and I were looking at it just before the show. Look at all those colors colors on there now 34 states are now a color they're being called and of those that are not I don't know if you can see it on your screen but they're they have a tint so you can kind of tell which way they're going to go it's very interesting at this point we're seeing 16 states blue for Biden 18 states red for President Trump and you can interact with this map on your own we'll have it up on our website throughout the night valleynewslive.com you can also check it out on our VNL news app that's free to download from the app store and you can manipulate it it's not just the presidential election you can look out which is arguably and the biggest race that's why people turned out to the polls today record turnout throughout the nation but you can check out Senate House governor races initiatives by state uh, you can do all of that on your own on this map Stacey, now's the time to download that app because uh, as this race for the presidency uh, culminates, these uh, swing states are now coming into play right now more than ever. All right, thanks so much for joining us. Our election coverage is not over here on Valley News Live. We'll have more not only from our CBS and NBC friends, but we'll cut in when we get word of any sort of developments locally and regionally. Thanks for joining us. Good night.